Ever since starting this YouTube channel, it's required me to go out into the world and do more stuff alone. Oh, look, yo, yo, it's literally right there. Pretty awesome sunrise. All right, update. I got on this little uh, platform thing. Pretty neat. Today was a good day. I suppose COVID as a whole has required all of us to spend more time by ourselves. But I would argue that there are two main forms that spending time alone takes. The first one we will call the escape. This is when you are alone and distracting yourself with something. Maybe you're on social media, reading a book, or watching TV. The second form we will call the moment. This is when you are alone, but you are not escaping to a world of distraction and stimulation. It's just you alone with your thoughts. Currently uh, headed out to a little town called Davenport, one of my favorite spots on the California coast. Driving along Highway 1, it is one of my happy places. I think both forms are important in their own ways. The escape is important to recharge your batteries. This is especially true if you are an introvert like me. The moment is more important for self-reflection. When you're out in the world alone with no distractions, that's when you make important realizations about yourself, your ideology, moral beliefs, stuff like that. Being alone in the moment isn't always easy, especially in a world of growing distraction and stimulation. But I've learned some methods that may help you get out and enjoy doing more stuff alone. My name's Kyle, and I'm on a journey to find a little more balance, so you can too. Please subscribe for new videos every Thursday. For those of you wondering how I get my sweet driving shots, here's the, uh, here's the secret. It's a broken tripod that's duct taped to my car. It seems that more and more over the years, it has become harder and harder for us to be in the moment. If I had to guess, a big reason for this is our growing attachment to our phones and the complex that social media has given many of us. All right, for this excursion, I'll be leaving the phone in the glove compartment. Good to go. Think back to your childhood. Do you remember alone time being more enjoyable back then? If you're similar age to me, then you likely didn't grow up with a smartphone. When I was a kid, I just rode around on my bike and thought about the world. There was never a thought to post something on social media or check notifications. All that really mattered to me was just exploring and finding cool shit. Somewhere along the way, it seemed the alone time that we once enjoyed turned into emptiness and discomfort. Because oftentimes, the first thing you see when you open any social media app is other people doing fun social things. I guess this makes us feel like we should also be doing fun social things. So when we are alone, instead of enjoying the important time alone, we distract ourselves in order to avoid this weird emptiness and FOMO. But it seems like many of us have forgotten that spending time alone is normal. It's good to be alone sometimes. And when you are able to enjoy time alone in the moment, that's when you really become in touch with your truest self. When we are alone in the moment, we often make important realizations that we wouldn't have had that we were spending that time in the escape. Now that I'm an adult, I find myself wanting to get back to that feeling I had when I was a kid. That feeling of being completely content alone in the moment and just taking it all in. Of course, now I also have more responsibilities so I can't just ride my bike around all day. But when I do have time to take those moments to myself, it's always worth it. And I feel that it has cascading positive effects 
on the other areas of my life. Don't you see? Made it to the beach and it is looking awesome as always. One of my favorite spots. Really cool, uh, really cool secret spot along the coast. Boy, let me tell you, I sure am lucky to live in California. I freaking love it here. It's so cool. Doesn't get much better than this. Dude, I was just like going down this like cool cave and I was about to get some like sick shots, right? And my freaking camera battery ran out and I didn't bring the spare one. You know what that means? It's time for a snack. I love bananas. I love where I live. This place is awesome. It's almost golden hour. Ooh. So I challenge you to go be alone in the moment. Go get a meal by yourself, go on a hike by yourself, an adventure by yourself, and see how you feel. It's not always easy. As soon as you go out and do something alone, you may feel tempted to jump back into the escape. But here are some tips that can help you enjoy doing stuff alone in the moment. Be grateful for the little things that you notice. Maybe the weather is great or the food you're eating is tasty. Noticing the little things is a great way to feel more present. Oh, unreal. Just look how beautiful this is. Go somewhere new. When we take in a new scenery or culture, it tends to bring us into the moment. It could be something as simple as walking down an unfamiliar street. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Turn off your phone. This will reduce the temptation to jump back into the escape. Don't be hard on yourself. This should not be a time that you are critical of yourself or comparing yourself to others. Rather, just observe your surroundings and take it all in. Write down the insights. When you're alone in the moment, your brain will subconsciously be working on solving a problem. If you experience any important insights, try to write them down and capture it because these thoughts don't always happen. Be your truest self. Remember that no one is thinking about what you're doing. Everyone is in their own world. So go be weird and be your truest self. Well, I'd call that a pretty awesome day. It's always great getting out on the coast. Definitely makes me super happy. I got the moon behind me. Look at that, look at that. Like, couldn't ask for much more, dude. Like, beautiful. If you can carve out a little time each week or even each month dedicated to going out and enjoying some time alone in the moment, I promise you will not regret it and will likely find that it benefits all aspects of your life. So get on out in the world alone, see how you feel, and don't forget to have fun. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Uh, 
please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more similar to it, I guess. Still working on my YouTube clothes, but anyway, yeah. I hope you have a fantastic day.